All right, part two. The dog. Hi, dog. <laughs> Hello, puppy. Anyways, so we've got the orange clean in the first bucket, orange clean and uh, dishwashing detergent. Acetone in this one, and I've sealed it so that it doesn't evaporate off, and then regular old solvent in that one. I figured might as well, while we're here, try a few different things on the uh, cylinders on the cylinder head, um, or on the carbon on the cylinder head. My favorite that has always worked for me is this gasket remover. Permatex, um, of course, works for gaskets as well, but I've used it on carbon, and it's the only thing that seems to soften it for me. Uh, the other one, this I was told is basically the same thing, and that it is uh, good for using on carbon. And goof off, this stuff will melt plastic, so be careful. Not even sure what's in that, but says it removes oil and tar and all sorts of shit and my homemade uh, automatic transmission fluid ATF and uh, half and half with uh, acetone and good old-fashioned brake clean that everybody loves so much and seems to swear by but mostly I don't think it does anything for carbon we're gonna try it. I'm gonna try some of the acetone and that stuff. I'm probably gonna wipe off my. Yeah, there goes the marks. Well, let's mark that somewhere else, like on a piece of paper, before they all disappear. No sense measuring it if I've so Sorry, trying to hold the camera and do this at the same time is difficult. But, okay, so there's my marks for where the low spots were on this head. Because they're going to disappear when I start putting this stuff on here. Goof off. I don't think I've ever used this for any sort of vehicle stuff. I've used it for moving stickers and shit like that. I can't stand stickers. And people that leave their Windows sticker on the front of their computer so that everybody knows it's a Pentium. Like, ooh, nobody cares. And so it's only really sitting on that by the spark plug hole. Um, I'm not expecting it to do a bunch. If it even loosens that, I'll be happy. Uh, this one, I can't do this with one hand. <laughs> oh, there we go. This one with the paint remover. Don't know if I can do that without a brush, but we'll try just pouring a little bit in there and see what we get. It's very thick. All right, that ought to be about good. I really want to get my hand on this, so I'm going to use this feeler gauge and try and 
spread this around a bit. And we'll give that a try. Tomorrow we'll come take a look at this and see where we're at. <laughs> 